it's like when he was in his 14th, 15th year, I was just like, when he's the 17th, 18th year, it's just like, damn, that's actually is dope. When you're 39 in your 20th year, and then like half your life is in a league, and then you played against like 40% of the players that's ever played in the league, it's just like, that longevity has to mean something. That has to be a standard. Like, if you really, truly want to know what greatness is like, of course you can accumulate championships in a short amount of time and accolades in a short amount of time. You can have a nice, quick spurt of moment. But, like, I truly appreciate somebody who's been in that shit for a long time. I, I got to tell you something. So this is sacrilegious. I grew up in the 90s. Michael Jordan broke the Knicks' heart. He broke the Pacers' heart when my man Mark Jackson was there. He created this basketball culture, Jordan shoes, six, seven billion dollar business a year. But if we're going to stick to the conversation that we talk about accolades and body of work, LeBron's body of work is second to none. It is second I to mean, none. I mean, it is. It is. It is. This is his consistency is showing up and that got to mean something. He's the all time leading scorer. He showed up. And that's why I appreciate Bron about Bron and that I overlooked and underestimated when it comes to him. His enthusiasm and love for the game of basketball. And it's that simple. It's not more, nothing more than that. I know LeBron and his brand is just so much built on top, but the foundation is that. And I think everything he does is, is a foundation from I just enjoy showing up and I enjoy being who I am in this space every day. And that's something I can appreciate and learn from. Because it's, that, it's literally that simple for a lot of people that's been in it for a long time. I was watching a random ass Benny Testaverde doc. That's right. And random. you know when I watch somebody, I just go in deep for like at least a day or two of like pause. <laughs> Sorry, pause shout out that. Cam and Mason. Pause that. I just, I go in deep dive of like who somebody is. Like I think Benny played maybe 20 something years. Well, that's crazy. And like, he had you, an Achilles injury. And he had an Achilles injury. I think he played over 20 years. Um. And he played a long ass time. Benny, right? Yeah. He played a long time. Yeah. And it's a lot of a lot of other quarterbacks and, and football players that play 16, 17, 18 years. And it's just like you truly don't under you don't get it until you hit like 15, 16 years in the league, how hard it is to wake up every day knowing what you know and still come to work and still having to mesh with other people who are just experiencing this for the first time or don't know as much as you know, and you still get up and want to work as hard as you can and be the best teammate and work. As, that, that, that's greatness to me. And every day have to be LeBron James. Every day, whoever you run into and whatever fan sees you, it's the greatest day of their life. Mm -hmm. You have to show up. Mm -hmm. uh, you grew up in an era where your voice was asked to be spoken and you showed up and you spoke. Yeah. You built a blueprint for a business. You went through shit. And to do it for that long, I think it's been more mind blowing for me this year to watch it than ever before. And it goes back to that goat thing, right? Like, how many people can relate to LeBron James on earth? I'll, this, and this, sit and have a conversation to, about what he's going through on a day to day. Who can have those conversations? That truly know what he's going through as LeBron James. How many people? So few. I'm like one hand. One hand. But who else? All right, let me give you somebody. Michael Jordan for sure. We don't even have to talk about him. Michael Jordan for sure. Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. Serena Williams. Mm -hmm. I think in a very weird way, I, I mean, let me not shake up the direction of the combo, but someone like Drake. Easily. Tiger Woods. I mean, Tiger Woods has a different separate combo for himself because, like, he had, he was... <laughs> He was good, but life comes into play. You can't account for life. And that's why when you think about LeBron and what he's been able to persevere through and, and avoid, and it comes with it. All that is part of it. All that's part of it. And that's the part that, like, back to, like, that's the asterisk. That's the asterisk. The same asterisk combo. Same asterisk 